Hello and welcome to this Excel and Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you basically how we can analyze Power BI datasets in Excel for the web. So let's get started. Now, this is an amazing and dynamic report built in the Power BI desktop and published into the Power BI service. Now, there's an option at the top here. Now, when I choose this option to analyze in Excel, I'm just going to download a copy of the data sets into Excel file, and then I can analyze on the Excel for the desktop. However, we actually want to analyze on the web. Now, to see the option to analyze on the web, I'm going to click on My Workspace, and then in the My Workspace, I can see the underlying data sets that I use in the Power BI desktop to build the reports. Now, when I click on these three horizontal ellipses, I can see the option to analyze in Excel. So when I choose this, you can see so your file is ready. And of course, we can proceed to Excel for the web and analyze. So go ahead, click on open in Excel for the web. Now we can see the pivotable placeholder to the left and the pivotable fields to the right of the screen. Now in our data set, we've got one fact table and many dimension tables. Now we also have explicit DAX measures such as total sales, total units, number of transactions, average monthly sales, and percentage of grant total. So we will create total sales, total units, number of transactions, and percentage of grant total by account manager. So to do that, it's very simple. So I'm going to grab the account manager from the DIM account manager's dimension table. I'm going to grab the account manager unique values and drop in the rows area. And we can see nicely displayed. Now let's grab the total sales. So I'm going to grab the total sales and drop it in the values. Then the total units. And let's grab the number of transactions. So we'll have number of transactions measure. And let's grab the percentage of grand total. So I'm going to drop it at the bottom here. So you can see the total sales, the total unit, number of transactions, and percentage of grand total. Now, we can easily tell that Stephen Charles had the highest total sales in the list of the account manager, and the total sales is 1,189,247, and the total unit sold is 15,761, and the number of transactions is 326, and the percentage of grand total is 25.92%. So thing we need to tie it up is to display the descriptive name of the field here, which is the account manager. Double click, and then I'm going to call this one account manager, and click enter, and our report is ready and nice. So this is basically how we can analyze Power BI data set in Excel for the web. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and bye for now. Cheers.